Hi, welcome to Logic Tarot. I'm uh, Juju, and this is going to be an All Signs, You versus Them reading. Um, I will, this is a love reading, love tarot. Um, so I will look at you and your person um, for each zodiac sign from Aries to Pisces. It obviously will be time stamped. Um, I will also get love tea messages for each zodiac sign, at, you know, at, at the end. I'll get uh, messages from your person, what they would say to you if they had the opportunity to, or what they want to say but aren't saying. Um, angel answers to so hold a question in your mind. I will get the answer to that. And then I'll get zodiac signs you could be dealing with but not limited to, and then guidance at the end as well. But yes, everything will be timestamped. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements, especially Venus placements because this is about love and moon because that's about emotions, okay? But it can apply to your sun um, and rising sign, obviously moon and Venus, okay? What else? Um, these are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And if you need or want to get a uh, private personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, my email is below, okay? Um, vet everything, everyone, every time, including me, okay, including me. Do your own research, do your own study, your own investigations. Um, come to your own conclusions and form your own opinions and never make any life altering changes or decisions based on any general reading um, on YouTube and or online from me or from anyone else. Okay. What else? Are we in cancer season? I think we just had a new moon in Gemini. So that might be important for you. There's going to be a lot of communication about emotions. For all the signs okay we'll see we're gonna just see what that's about okay all right i think that's it yeah roles can be reversed obviously okay all right so let's go to aries two minutes and 17 seconds okay okay spirit please show me show me aries and their person the person that they're dealing with and or the person on their mind Oh, this can be something from the past currently going on coming towards you in the near future okay this is for the rest of june 2023 okay let me go back to let me redo the time stamp 244 okay all right let's see spirit please show me aries and their person person that they're dealing with or person on their mind and love one more aries Okay. Okay, so the current of the current situation. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups reverse. Person A, so you could be person A, Aries, or you could be person B. Okay. Person A, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius. This is Cancer Pisces. Uh, person B or your person. Knight of Cups reverse. Cancer Pisces. There's strong Pisces there. Immediate recent past three months or less, we got the Page of Pentacles, Virgo, and then potential outcome, we have the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Okay, Virgo again. Okay, so what is in between you and the person you're dealing with or the person on your mind is the Queen of Cups reverse. Um, the Queen of Cups in reverse is someone who is very emotionally upset. This is someone who doesn't listen to their intuition. This could be someone who is easily excitable or doesn't have any emotionally uh, emotional control um they can also be very emotionally manipulative as well why is the queen of cups reverse because of the nine of wands reverse okay aries leo sagittarius somebody here is emotionally manipulating the other person into not taking action or that's what's coming between the two of you um aries but also, too, somebody here is man trying to manipulate, and this could be you, because it is fire, but it doesn't have to be you, into doing something or not taking a certain action. Now, for person A, we have the King of Swords. This is someone who makes, who is very strategic, very logical. Male or female doesn't matter. Could be an Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. This person, for person A, they're very um, trying to 
um, take emotions out of the situation and think more logically and diplomatically. This is someone who is very strategic. They're making a head over heart decision as well. Why is the King of Swords here, please, for person A? Because of the King of Cups reverse. Okay, so we have now we have the King of uh, Queen of Cups reverse and the King of Cups reverse. This is someone who has been very emotionally uh, not centered. So this is someone who is quite literally making a decision using utilizing logic and taking emotions out of it. Okay. They're taking emotions out of it. Okay. What about person B? We have the Knight of Cups reverse. Someone who's very, um, not very sincere, not apologetic, um, very much a player. Not sincere, unrequited love as well. They're not sincere about how they feel person B is okay yeah ace of wands reverse somebody here is you know being rejected person B feels rejected and as if they're not loved by person A but I feel what's coming in but somebody here is in somebody's ear okay somebody here has somebody's ear that's what's between the two of you what is this um, page of Pentacles in the recent past it was an offer that was made maybe it was small but it was an offer there was an offer, an apology that was made to try to heal a situation with the double reverse. I feel like that apology was rejected in the recent past. Now, for the potential outcome with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, this is someone who... Somebody here might be staying with somebody or trying to get back with someone because of finances. Nine of, Pentac Nine of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, the star... Aquarius energy. Somebody here is hoping that they can heal a situation. I'm not sure if the motives are correct, though. The motives could be fine. They do want to heal it. Somebody here wants to heal a situation because they're codependent on the other person, possibly financially. Give me one more on that. There is no love there, though. Ace of Cups reverse. This is, or somebody here... Possibly an Aquarius needs to put pour more love into themselves because they're struggling and there is codependency here on their part. Or you could be very codependent on this person. Remember, roles can be reversed and it's wanting to wanting to stay with somebody for financial reasons versus love. But there is, somebody does have hope, though, that that it can be restored. But Whomever I'm reading for, whether it's you, Aries, or Aquarius, somebody can't give them an empty cup. They gotta fill their cup. They gotta fill their own cup up first. Okay. All right, that's what I have for you, Aries, and I will be right back with Taurus. One second. Oh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you need a reading, my email's below. I'll be back with Taurus. Hey, Taurus, welcome to your you versus them reading for the rest of June 2023. You could have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Don't forget to check out your other placements as well for a more well-rounded well photo, or photo, <laughs> well-rounded picture. Um, but also, too, um, especially moon and Venus signs, but you can check out any of your other placements. Um, but also, too, if you need to get a personal private reading with me, my email is below. Um, and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay, let's take a look at what's the current state of the relationship show me now this could be somebody that you're currently dealing with and or somebody that you're thinking of show me taurus and the current person that they're dealing with and or thinking of please, in love for the rest of june all right here we go show me the current situation okay that jumped out we have the seven of cups reverse scorpio show me person a so you could be person a taurus or you could be person b Roles can be reversed. We have the Four of Swords reverse. Gemini, Libra, maybe maybe Aquarius, but I get more Gemini. Person B. The Nine of Swords reverse, okay. A lot of air energy here. That's definitely Gemini. Let me take this one off. Okay. What about the recent past three months or less? Five of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, 
in the near future, three months or less, please. The moon card, Cancer Pisces, okay. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So, uh, currently, there is no other option here. There's an end to, or what you perceive, or your person perceives, Taurus, is that there is nothing coming. There, sh there should be truth between the two of you. There's nothing that's being hidden currently, okay? Or at least that's that's perceived. Or nobody has any other options, okay? There's no delusion. There's no confusion. There's no deception, okay? There's some form of clarity. What's that clarity about? Yeah, clarity is that this needs to be healed and brought back into balance. That's what's really between the two of you. There's no deception. There's clarity. There's balance here between the two of you. There's healing, okay? Harmony and peace between the two of you. Now, for person A, there's four of swords reversed. This is someone who is really stuck in their head. Why? Because of some form of rejection with the page of pentacles reversed, Virgo energy, temperance is Sagittarius. So person A is really stuck in their head because they're worried about an offer being rejected, per, possibly by person B. Okay, so person B has um, the death card and the four of pentacles in the upright. So this is someone who wants forgiveness. This is someone, person B wants forgiveness here. And person A feels like they are ruminating or Think, maybe overthinking it saying should I have rejected this apology someone is really remorseful or they're trying to relieve pain or they're trying to get over something they're trying to let something go and ending they're trying to, they're holding on to how something ended or holding on to how things shoulda coulda woulda the person B has the shoulda coulda wouldas okay in the recent past we have the five of wands so recent past three months or less there was some form of drama um, conflict, rivalry, competition possibly. There was there was a lot of arguments um, over a choice that was about to be made or a choice that was made in the recent past. Okay. Now, in the near future, three months or less, we have the moon card here. So that can talk about illusions, dreams, deception. What is the moon card? So th the near future is three months or less. What is the moon about? There is, okay, so in the near future, there is some form of deception regarding a masculine figure. It can still be a feminine, but it could be about an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's somebody who's lying to you, Taurus, or you're lying to this person. Yeah, they're hiding something. It's a Leo. What are they hiding? A third party. Or there's a Cancer Pisces that you're dealing with who's talking to a fire sign, could be an Aries, a Leo, or Sag, strong Leo, that they're saying they're just friends, but they're not just friends. They're more than that. There is a third party here that's being hidden. With the full card reverse, it's reckless behavior. Someone is being very reckless in the near future with a relationship, period. So hopefully that's not you, um, Taurus. Although it could be. But it could also be a person. Okay? All right. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Um, I will do love tea messages from your person, angel answers, zodiac, zodiac signs you could potentially be dealing with but not limited to, and guidance. So stick around for that. All right. I will be back with Gemini. One second. Hey, Gemini. Welcome to your you versus them love reading for the rest of June 2023. I hope you're doing well. You could have Gemini, your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and um, if you need or want to get a private personal reading, my email is below, okay? Ooh, Gemini, what's going on? Show me, okay, show me what's going on for Gemini in love with the person that they're dealing with and or the person on their mind. One more. what's going on for Gemini show me currently what's going on 
Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's a, okay. Now, you could be person A, Gemini, or you could be person B. So, place yourself, okay? Show me person A in the relationship. Temperance, Sagittarius, Synergy. Okay, show me person B. The Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The recent past three months or less, Death, Scorpio. And the near future, three months or less, potential outcome. Ace of Cups, Reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's in between the two of you is lack of action or impulsive actions, rather, and disloyalty between the two of you. What is this lack, impulsive action of disloyalty? Holding on. Someone's holding on to a betrayal. And that's what's coming in between the two of you. Either you're holding it on, holding on to a Gemini or that person is. Weird message. Um, I don't know who I'm reading for. I don't know if this is you, Gemini, or your person. If you've lost a spouse in the past to passing away, okay? Say that again, Spirit. No judgment. Everybody heals in their own time and everything. But if you if if you Gemini or Cross Watcher has lost a spouse in the past, so this has already happened, could have, could have happened a while ago, and you're you're either remarried or with somebody else now, but you haven't. I don't know if you ever fully will get over it, 100%. But what I feel like is happening here, you might be telling your new partner, husband or wife, how much you miss the person that passed. Not that the, pa the past person doesn't matter, they do, and they always will. But it's like you, someone here prefers, not, not prefers, that's not, that's not the right word. Somebody here is making their current partner or spouse feel real, real, real bad. Because it's like they can never live up or fill those shoes of the person who's already passed. And it's not about, I heard, it's not about replacing the past person who passed away. This is a different type of love. This is this is a different type of love, and that's okay. So that's like a side message for somebody. However, the person that you're with now, or and or married to, or with now, understands. And I feel like they're very compassionate to that. However, I feel like somebody here is rubbing it in the other person's face, like comparing the two, the past, the, the past deceased spouse to the current partner or spouse um, to the current one. Um, it's like weaponizing someone's passing against the, the new partner. That's not right. That's that's not that's 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 very un, un, uncool and it's very, um, very toxic, actually. So I don't know if that's you doing that, Gemini, or somebody else is doing that. Now, it doesn't have to be an actual passing, like someone transitioning, um, you know, actually passing away. It could be like an end of a marriage. Like it could someone's marriage, someone could be a widower or somebody could be a divorcee from the past. And their new partner and or spouse is being compared to the other person from the past. Because somebody here can't, someone's holding on to something that that no longer exists anymore. Not that if they passed away, you'll never forget that person. The love that you have for them would more than likely is probably still going to carry on in you. However, rubbing that in your person, new partner, and or spouse's face is wrong. That's what, it's, it's wrong. And it's making the other person fall out of love with them. Now, if it's if it's a divorce thing, let's say I don't know Gemini or Crosswatcher, you are not a widower from a past relationship and/or marriage, but you are a divorcee, 
and you somebody here is comparing that past person that they were once married to to the new current partner boyfriend girlfriend spouse husband wife whatever that's also wrong because there no there's exes are exes for a reason okay and why would anybody want to do that other than try to manipulate that person their current person i don't know why i need to tell you that so there's that so person a though does want healing harmony and balance restored okay they do want things restored they're trying to figure out how to do that what about temperance please why is temperance here for person a the emperor reverse okay this could be a masculine aries um taurus or leo for me as a reader or it could be a feminine energy who is acting like a tyrant somebody here is trying to force the other person to heal things with them when they don't want to somebody here is trying to force a reconciliation or also i don't know why i'm getting this somebody here could be um a drinker like i don't know i know that's an angel there there's an archangel gabriel is coming in to speak a message about healing somebody here needs to go to rehab somebody is an alcoholic and when they get when they start drinking they get they get very abusive and very cruel or oppressive towards the other person okay now person b has the ace of swords the truth has been spoken bingo here gemini libra aquarius they don't somebody here is like about to drop a truth here and they're saying i'm not taking this anymore whatever this is person b is like i'm not taking it anymore okay so i don't know if that's you gemini or cross watcher yep someone is saying listen get your ish together stop acting very emotionally immature um, or I'm cutting you out of my life not like literally but like you know I, I'm leaving the connection I'm not gonna fight with you somebody here drinks a lot and they get very emotionally um, like out of control meanwhile person B or I mean person A over here that's person B person A is trying to get the other person to heal or get some type of rehab and person B doesn't want to do it so i feel like this is the emperor energy saying and there the emperor might even be getting accused of being oppressive towards person b but person b is saying listen i'm done fighting with you here's the truth the truth is when you're drinking you become exceptionally toxic you become very immature and and, and just lash out when you've been drinking because you're an alcoholic person a is saying is being accused of being like a tyrant i don't know who's reading this is or person maybe person a is a tyrant i don't know okay so in the recent past there's the death card here something ended or something needs to change okay maybe someone in recent past could be three months or less or hell it could be three years 12 13 20 years ago i don't know but there was maybe there was a actual passing or there was a, an ending of some kind something needed to change something also love between person a and person b has changed in the recent past three months or less okay it has changed why betrayal in the recent past somebody here is just like i'm not gonna hurt anymore over whatever the situation is i'm i don't have time for it i'm not dealing with it i'm putting it into the betrayal i'm putting it into the heartache i'm putting it into to dealing with this mess and I, honestly, I feel like it's a masculine energy that's done messing with this mess. But it could be a feminine. I don't know. It's somebody who's in their masculine energy. And they're like, no, I'm done. I'm done feeling hurt over you. Now, in the near future, and I feel like that's the person who's being compared to the, somebody from the past who's passed on or somebody who in the past that, uh, that, that somebody divorced them in the future we have the ace of cups reverse this is love loss this is an ending this if there's a marriage here there could be a divorce somebody did, mm -mm. yep you know why because somebody here is falling out of love with somebody in the near future because they constantly are either feeling betrayed or attacked in some form or fashion by the other person all the time 
I don't mean like physically being attacked. I mean like emotionally, verbally, okay? And that's causing the other person to fall out of love. What, what's going to happen? Yep, there's Aquarius energy. There is possibly an Aquarius who's no longer in love. If there, if if it is Aquarius or Libra here, doesn't have to be those signs, but I will get those towards the end who might be falling out of love with their person because they their person is an alcoholic potentially and they're losing money and they don't like that because of it somebody here is whether it's you gemini or somebody else somebody here is falling out in the near future three months or less they're falling out of love with their person and they're ending it and moving on this is what they're thinking about probably currently it's like why are they even holding on to this anymore there's nothing to hold on to. They're falling out of love with their person because that person gets gets drunk, okay, because they're an alcoholic and they go on the verbal lashing on everybody around them and they won't get treatment for it. Or the and or they're comparing their person, their current person to a past person that, that had either been they had, were married to, that they got divorced from, and or that they were married to who, pa who passed away. They don't feel like they're being fairly treated and they're going to move on. So I don't know who's doing this, but, you know, you might want to consider whatever, okay? Basically, the person who is not the alcoholic um, in the near future is going to stop enabling the one who is. And it's going to leave them high and dry out. I'm telling you, right? They're going to leave them to dry out. All right, that's what I have for you, Gemini. I'll be back with Cancer. One second. Hey Cancer, welcome to your um, you versus them love reading for the rest of June 2023. You could have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Um, if you need or want to get a private personal reading reading with me, my email is below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay. How many shuffles? One more. Okay. Ooh. I see, ooh, roles can be reversed. They don't want to shuffle for me for your reading. I don't know why. Okay. There's a breakdown of communication. What's going on, Cancer? Okay. Or there's a conflict coming? Okay. Show me the current state of the relationship. This could, show me the person that Cancer is dealing with and or thinking of spirit for June, rest of June 2023. The person that Cancer is is dealing with yo there's a conflict coming and or thinking of or oh, there was a conflict show me cancer and the person that they're dealing with and or thinking of this let me cut it. okay hmm. let's see what's the current situation of the relationship queen of swords reverse okay that could be a gemini or a libra now, show me person A. Now, you could be person A or you could be person B, Cancer, okay? Roles can be reversed. Show me person A. Seven of Pentacles, Virgo. Person B. The Emperor reverse, okay? That could be Aries, Leo, um, Taurus for me as a reader. Show me the recent past three months or less up to three years five of cups reverse scorpio okay show me the immediate near future three months or less for cancer okay chariot your car so we got chariot chariot we got cancer aries or sagittarius here okay for some of you bottom of the deck somebody here is getting out of prison possibly now, person, the, well, the current situation here, we have the Queen of Swords reverse. Someone's a liar. So there's a coldness, there's bitchiness, there's gossip, there's rumors, there's malicious gossip between the two of you. Also, for some reason, there's somebody who is lying to you, Cancer, and coming in between you and somebody else. Or you are this person. I don't know. Okay, show me, uh, why is the Queen of Swords here reversed for the current state? This is what's coming in between the two of you. 
Oh, the King of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius. So we got Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay. These two people, this could be a married couple, but doesn't have to be. You could be this married couple. Both of you are very cold, apathetic, manipulative towards one another at this time. But we also have a third masculine here. But with, with the emperor being in reverse, it could also be a feminine energy who's in their masculine energy in not a good way. There's a husband and wife or wife and husband here who are keeping you away from somebody, a masculine, who isn't, or it could be a feminine who's not in their best energy. Um, okay, okay. Okay, so for person A, the seven of pentacles here, this is someone who's gonna reap what they've sown. If, you've, if you are a cross watcher, I don't know if it's you, Cancer, or the cross watcher, somebody here has sown, who's invested emotional, emotionally, given time, emotion, um thought maybe even money to a situation to cause chaos because they want to control a situation this also can talk about person a reaping what they have sown could be virgo but they're also they're looking at whatever this is with re i don't know kind of feels like regret okay show me the four, uh, seven of pentacles please it's not a balanced situation seven of pentacles okay page of cups reverse somebody here person a regrets having an emotional outburst very publicly it was very immature pisces energy somebody invested in something very immature or did something very emotionally petty to cause problems because they were directed by person B to do so. And this person B lied about these two people here. Ooh, somebody regrets that. Show me person B. I feel like this person was directing this person over here to do something out of pettiness. And it was not a good idea. Emperor reverse. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Somebody here, person B, what directed person A to do something out of pettiness against these two people here in the core, the Queen and King of Swords reverse, to make them look bad because of this person here, who isn't in their right state of mind, who isn't even in their personal power either. Could be a feminine energy. Because the Emperor's reverse could be a feminine energy who's in their masculine energy who is very tyrannical. Or person A here feels like no matter how much I invest in this, I'm constantly rejected. And it's because of person B. Person B wants person A to not have any finances whatsoever. Because they're or doesn't want this couple to have any wealth or anything. And they are gossiping about this situation. Be careful who you tell your business to. Um, Cancer. Because I got. I don't know. Okay. I don't know where you fit into this. But this doesn't look very good. Okay. Side message. Somebody here is trying to con a father figure. Into including them in the will. In a will against the advisement of these two who are actually the um i'm not an attorney so this is not legal advice but these two people are actually the power of attorney over this man's this elderly man's will or state and somebody here is trying to con this elderly man into writing them into the will I don't know. That's side message. Um, recent past, we got the five of cups reverse. Somebody here did something with great pride and with no remorse, no compassion towards what they were doing. And what did they do? They they really did in the recent past betray somebody in the worst possible way. We got two tens here, and they felt nothing towards it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe 
Scorpio, but also Cancer Pisces because it's Cups energy. Somebody here betrayed somebody, and they had no, they had, they had, and they have no remorse towards it. However, person A does feel like whatever was done was very petty. But but they only did something, or they're viewing this per, somebody, and then person B did something because of the advisement of somebody else. And I feel like it back, it's backfiring or it backfired. Mm. Person B is losing a commitment, a st stability, excuse me, contract possibly, or losing um, financial opportunities because of what they did over here, or what because of what they did to person A. And I feel like it was done publicly. I'm get, I don't think I'm gonna get more information on that. So person B doesn't want to deal with person A because of it. And because there's no remorse for whatever was done. There's no compassion either. Tell me more about person A. Yeah, see, that's the action that was taken. It was an action. So person A is looking at what person B did. Or uh, what, oh, excuse me. Person A did something really, really petty. And they did it with enthusiasm. And they did it with great joy and malice in their heart. And gossiped and lied about a person or two people maybe even a married couple in order to make them look some kind of way they are not sorry for it they do not feel bad for it person B could be somebody who has financial strong financial ties or strong strong finances or has the ability to make a lot of money or whatever and person B won't even come near person A because of how petty they are they don't trust them anymore or person B here is trying to get um, is seeing person A as a con artist trying to get something out of them and they won't have it. Whatever it is, it's coming to an end. Okay, with the chariot here in the near future, we got Aries, we got Cancer, Aries, and Sagittarius here. Somebody here just wants to win no matter what. They want to have victory no matter what. No matter what it what happens here. What's why is the chariot here? Holding on. Somebody's holding on to what they perceive as a victory, but is it even a real victory? Or somebody here is taking whatever they have in savings and they're dipping out. Or somebody here is stealing from somebody and dipping out in a relationship. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here. We go to four to the eight. Whomever was done dirty, the person who did them dirty is being seen for a liar and a snake. And the person that was done dirty is actually moving forward in victory, starting off with four and ending up with eight. So they're doubling their finances, they're doubling their work, they're they're moving forward uh, valiantly and being very victorious here, while the other person has to watch them be happy, possibly even in a marriage or a situation. I don't know how you fit into this. What? Yeah. Someone here is moved. They're they're moving on calmer waters here, <clears throat> victoriously. I just heard. I got 99 problems in a one. <laughs> That's how this person feels. Whomever is the one moving forward and doubling their profits or doubling their secu financial security or their their work security, they're just focusing on their money, and moving on to calmer waters. And their basic mentality is, and it really could be anybody, it doesn't necessarily have to be you. It's like, you know, I got 99 problems in a one, period. While the other person has to watch this person be very happy, possibly in a marriage or a connection or some form of business contract or stability. Or has to watch somebody get this contract that was supposed to be for them, but because what they did publicly was very petty, they no longer get it and the other person does. Or a relationship another person gets while the other person doesn't. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. All right, I'll be back with Leo in one second. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, Cancer. And if you need a reading, my email's below. All right, I'll be back in a second. Hey, Leo, welcome to your You versus Them love reading for the rest of June 2023. You could have Leo and your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. 
Rolls can be reversed. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you need a personal reading with me, my email um, is below, okay? All right, let's see. I am going to do love tea messages, messages from your person, angel answers, zodiac signs, and guidance, okay? So stick around for that too, okay? Or go to the timestamp. All right, let's see. How many shuffles? Two more. What's good? Show me Leo, the person that they're in. Show me Leo and the person that they're dealing with or the person on their mind for the rest of June 2023 spirit, please. Show me Leo and their person that they're dealing with and or the person on their mind the rest of June 2023. All right, here we go. Taken from the top. All right, so currently we got the Six of Swords, Aquarius Energy, Person A. So you could be Person A or you could be Person B, Leo. We got the Hangman Reverse, Pisces. Person B, we got the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Immediate Recent Past, Six of Wands, Reverse, Leo Energy. And the Immediate Inner Future, Three Months or Less, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Strong Virgo, Strong Capricorn. Okay. All right. So currently in this situation, we have the Six of Swords. So somebody here is moving forward, or what's between the two of you is one who doesn't take accountability with a hangman reverse, and the other one who is pouring love into themselves and or has new love. But what's between the two of you is there is movement forward, okay, to calmer waters, okay? But at the same time, there's no accountability on something. Show me the Six of Swords. Okay, we have the Emperor Reverse. This could be an Aries, a Taurus, or a Leo, masculine or feminine. Somebody here is moving away from somebody who is controlling. Period. All right, person A has the hangman reverse. This is someone who's a traitor. They're very selfish. They don't see things from a different perspective. They won't even consider another perspective. But they also do not take accountability or responsibility for their actions or they play the victim. Lovers, Gemini energy. Somebody here is not taking account of, person A is not taking accountability for having another lover, another choice. Mm -hmm. Yep. Somebody here is like, I don't know, so it's almost like somebody here falls for the hokey doke or the temptation. Person A does. Or person A wants person B to take accountability for it because they have any love. Or, hold on. Sorry. I get more so person A here doesn't isn't taking accountability for falling for the hokey doke or having a choice between two. They don't want to take accountability for it. We got Pisces, Gemini here. Something could have happened in Pisces and Gemini between Pisces and Gemini season this year. Person B with the Ace of Cups reverse is the Seven of Swords reverse. So person B has a confession. To tell person A that there is new love here. Someone is confessing how much either they're confessing and, and confessing and professing their love. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra energy. Person B is professing their love for this one. For person A, meanwhile, person A isn't taking accountability for having a love offer, having a two lovers, or person B knows that person A has a choice between two lovers. And they're waiting on the confession. Give me one more on person B. Yep. In order to forgive, there has to be a confession or a, a, a complete, you know, admitting the truth. Mm -hmm. Now, in the recent past, the six of wands reversed. There was shame. Somebody here didn't want somebody to see something because it was very shameful. What is it? Strength card reversed. Leo, it's you. Leo, you could have felt really, really bad in the recent past. Three months or less or six months or less because you fell for temptation here and you're trying to keep it hidden or you're dealing with another Leo who did that yep that's the truth I'm sorry Leo here it looks like it's you you fell for the hokey doke you had another love or another option you fell for temptation or if you're dealing with another Leo they did okay take it as it resonates okay but that's the truth somebody here didn't have the strength or the courage to admit the truth in the recent past. In the near future with the Queen of Pentacles here, we have the Three of Cups. Somebody here is, uh, there's a Queen of Pentacles, um, I said Queen of Cups, so it could be a Cancer Pisces, maybe Scorpio, but a Cancer Pisces here, 
Somebody here um, in the near future is getting back their stability here and they're being celebrated for that. Or somebody here is going to want to reconcile with somebody else in the near future. Why? But it's over. Death, Scorpio. Somebody here in the near future is finding out the truth and they're putting an end to this third party scenario. Somebody, somebody could have had an, Leo, somebody could have had an affair with somebody's friend. Or somebody at work. Chariot reverse. Somebody here wants something to end, but they're not being allowed to. We got Cancer and we got Scorpio here. Somebody here had a third party with somebody that was somebody's friend. And that's coming out in the near future. Mm -hmm. There will be no more movement forward until truth is revealed and accountability is taken. You got one, two, three, four, five. You have five. Let's see. One, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have six major arcanas. So there needs to be something has to. I, feel, I don't have the karma cards here, but I do feel like there's a karmic thing that is being balanced out in, in the near future because it's calling for balance. Six is about a number of balance with home, family, love, relationships, partnerships. It, it is calling for it to be balanced, okay? I don't know if you did it or somebody else did it. We do have a wife. that could be a wife here and a husband here potentially or whatever your preferences are. There could be a marriage here. Somebody here slept with somebody's friend. Ooh, and they feel real bad about that. There's guilt here. Bad. So it, it's forcing somebody to look within themselves. Virgo energy with a hermit card here. And make that apology. Cancer Pisces here. Someone feels a lot of guilt about this. They're carrying it around them or within them until they confess it. All right. Well, stick around. I don't know if that's who that is, Leo. You or somebody else. But, you know, truth always comes out in the end, Leo or Crosswatcher. Okay. Um, stick around, do love team messages, messages from your person, angel answers to so hold a question in your mind, zodiac signs you could be dealing with, but not limited to also guidance as well. So stick around for that. And I will, um, be back with Virgo one second. Oh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you want a personal reading, it's below. Hey Virgo, welcome to your you versus them love reading for the rest of June, 2023. You could have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. <coughs> um, roles can be reversed. So take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? If you need or want to get a personal reading, my email is below. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay. What is going on, please, for Virgo in love? Show me Virgo in love. Current situation. The devil. Capricorn. Show me. Now, you could be person A or you could be person B. Queen of Swords, Reverse. Gemini, Libra. Mm -mm. Person B. Eight of Wands, Reverse. Okay. Uh, immediate, recent, past, three months or less. Eight of Pentacles here. More Capricorn energy. In the immediate, near future, three months or less. Potential outcome. The world card reverse. Okay. So the devil, this situation is very toxic and it's very, very, very codependent. Bad. Why, bad. But you can't, five of pentacles, neither one of you can let it go. Neither one of you are letting it go. But it's very toxic here. There's a lot of uh, this very intense codependency, maybe even like love addiction or something like, I don't know, something like that. But neither one of you let it go. It's like you're going back, both of y'all go back to this toxic situation for another cycle every single time. And that's no judgment. We leave a situation, we finally learn our lesson. But I feel like you, Virgo, you are your person. Somebody here is trying to teach the other person a lesson. When it's not really about that, it's about you learning yours, um, you know, Virgo and or Crosswatcher. Person A, though, is <laughs> bitching about it a lot. They're very upset. They're not being 100% honest. They're very cold and apathetic, and they gossip a lot about the connection. 
Show me the Queen of Swords reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. They are very jealous. Woo. So person A is constantly gossiping and complaining about this connection to everybody. And but they're not telling the whole story. They're very jealous and very vindictive. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, too. Now, person B is not talking to the other person. Doesn't want to talk to the other person. Or person A has two choices in love. One is very much a liar and codependent and deceptive and bitchy and dishonest and manipulative. While person, the second person, Queen of Wands, reverse is very vindictive, jealous, and spiteful. But I feel like it's more so the one same person. Why is person B not talking to person A? Because they're done. It's over. That's why. Person B is not talking to person A anymore because it's done. It's just done. It's over. It's done. You want nothing to do with it. In the recent past, though, there was attempt to try to work on this. This is what you guys are saying right now. However, both of y'all can't let it go. Both of y'all end up returning right back, returning right back, returning right back for another cycle. This codependency, 100%. Somebody here in the recent past was working on getting clarity about why, in, about trying to make somebody, somebody here in the recent past was trying to force somebody to make a decision, trying to get the truth about an indecision, but I don't feel like it went that way. Now, in the near future, though, with the world card reversed, uh, y'all just going to keep repeating the cycle until you learn your lesson. Virgo, that's you. I feel like your lesson here is to stand on your own two feet away from this person or situation. Yep, stand in your own power. Male or female doesn't matter. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. To be to be a leader in your own life and close out this cycle. If not, you're gonna you're doomed to keep repeating it. Yeah, it's not stable. Four of Wands reverse. It's not stable here. Or there's a masculine here in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who wants to be single and not married, or Virgo. And that's the final decision. Uh, Scorpio Sagittarius here there's a final decision here now the king of wands sometimes is considered Scorpio as well male or female doesn't matter because of they have that fire Scorpios have that fire aspect you're not in your power this looks like a mistake you keep repeating here Virgo or cross watcher I don't know maybe you're dealing with another Virgo and meanwhile the other person is this is like someone who keeps repeating the same mistake over and over and over again and ex expects the other person to forgive them. This could be you doing this or this could be a person doing this. However, somebody here is going to put it in this final, final judgment. Final decision here is that I want to be single. I'm taking the leadership. I'm making a final decision here. This isn't stable and I want out. Period. What happens to cause this? What happens to cause this? Show me the judgment. Because of something that was hidden or someone just makes a decision based because they're not happy. Leo energy. And it's final. Yep, there's final. There's communication coming in about someone not being happy, and they're making a final decision here, or you're giving this communication to someone, and it's gonna cause somebody wanting to fight. Libra energy. You got Gemini and Libra, but someone still moves forward. Aquarius energy, regardless of the situation, they still move forward. It's like I can. I I just heard I can do bad all by myself. I don't need this crap. All right, well, Virgo, that's what I got for you. I will be back with Libra. One second. Hey, Libra, welcome to your you versus them love reading for the rest of June 2023. You could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, Libra, please keep in mind that these readings are general, so take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the mind. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Roles can be reversed, and if you need or want to get a personal reading with me, my email is below, and don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay, so this spirit, please show me Libra, the person, show me Libra and the person that we're dealing with, and or thinking of, please spirit, for the rest of June 2023, show me Libra and the person that they're dealing with, and or thinking of for the rest of the month of June 2023, please spirit, thank you. All right, here we go. currently going on please what's the current state of the relationship 
Okay, so you have the Hermit Reverse and the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Okay. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Virgo or any other or any fixed sign, which could be a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio. Okay. So now you could be person A or you could be person B. Show me person A regarding this relationship, this connection. Okay, we have the King of Pentacles Reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Strong Taurus, though. Okay, show me person B. In this, okay. <laughs> the Tower. Scorpio, Aries. Mm, okay. All right, well, Libra. <laughs> show me the immediate recent past three months or less, please, for Libra regarding this relationship. This, okay. The two cards. You have the Two of Pentacles reverse and the Temperance reverse. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Immediate near future, three months or less. Okay, one foot. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, uh, Sagittarius. Okay. Well, so currently here, somebody is getting their karma for mistakes that they have repeated that they've done before. Somebody is not going within. They don't want to be in solid. They're not going within because they don't take enough time to really deeply reflect on what it is they want and who they really are. This is someone who takes on attributes of people that they see. And they're getting karma for that because they're not being authentic to who they are or their own. This is like somebody who practices, doesn't practice what they preach, basically. Okay. And they are getting karma for that. Show me. And it's in the form of money. They could be getting rejected from offers or jobs. Or they do something claiming to be very spiritual or religious even, but really they're just in it for money. Whew. Okay, so person A here is corrupt. <laughs> That's corruption. Greed, jealousy, and, and, and corruption. Show me person A. Okay, the lover's reverse. And that's why they're losing a soulmate connection because they are corrupt. Pretty straight to the point, Libra. Person B with the tower here is blowing the whole thing up, blowing the ceiling off a situation. This person, person B is willing to watch this tower burn to the ground, not literally, but like there's a tower coming and person B is the one who's bringing it. Tell me. Yeah. They're bringing it to somebody who, um, person B doesn't want to be codependent anymore. So they're blowing up the whole situation. Virgo energy. That's, that could be you too. Or Le oh my Libra, you can be done with a Virgo. I don't know. Somebody here is losing their their behind financially because what they do is for greed, or they're being labeled that. I feel like it's more religion than it is spirituality, to be honest. They could either be actually doing that or they're labeled that. But somebody here is getting karma in the form of money, or witnessing somebody else move on to a. It's like somebody here is repeating mistakes of the past where they put money over people, profit over people, or greediness, okay? So, but, okay, but they, they do it in a way where it's like religious. I don't feel like it's spiritual. I feel like it's a religious thing, and I'm not judging anybody who is religious, but this is when somebody uses religion in the wrong way. To you, They use religion or people's faith in religion against them. And they're going to get karma for that. Now, in the recent past here, somebody here was indecisive about how to heal a situation that was very, very chaotic. There was no balance. There was no harmony. Why? Okay, Ten of Pentacles reverse and a loss of money. You have the Nine of Pentacles reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Someone is losing their ass. Someone is losing their ass financially because of this. Mm-hmm. Somebody here was indecisive and that indecision caused chaos in a connection or a relationship and or marriage and it made it unstable and they're going to get calm for that. In the near future though, the eight of wands reverse, somebody here is going to go absolutely silent and not speak to the other person because they're taking a leap of faith elsewhere. They don't care. They'll pack their bag and they'll dip out. 
they're gonna be they're gonna be communicating this Aries very strong Aries or Sagittarius energy they're gonna be communicating this very very soon that they don't want no part of this nope Ace of Swords that's the truth there could be an Aries who has something to say that they haven't said yet but whatever they say it is the truth with the nine of cups nine oh, I'm sorry nine of cups reversed uh, loose lips sink ships and a drunk tongue usually doesn't lie or something like I don't know I don't know but this is where loose lips sink ships here somebody here is gonna be communicating a truth while they've been drinking and it, and it is actually true it's actually true somebody here is getting called out and Aries is the one who's calling somebody out while they've been drinking I don't feel like they're drunk they're just gonna call somebody out a wee bit it could be a Virgo Gemini that they're calling out that's very manipulative while they've been drinking and it's gonna cause a huge fight got Gemini here as well again if you're dealing with a Gemini or Virgo somebody here is hella corrupt like morally bankrupt we hear Libra I mean like for real could even be a Leo maybe tell me about the magician reverse page of swords reverse this is a player you got Gemini again somebody here who lies who is corrupt who's greedy who's selfish and their whole situation is blowing up six of cups reverse somebody lied to somebody from the past or lied about either somebody lied on somebody from the past or lied to somebody from the past about the past and that is being blown I feel like there's like a whistleblower here somebody here is blowing the lid right off of the conspiracy right off of the lies when they've had a couple of glasses of wine innocent Aries some uh, you don't want to piss off an Aries you don't want to piss off anyone who's Mars ruled which would be Aries and Scorpio but Scorpio is also ruled by Pluto you don't want to piss those two off somebody here is blowing the someone is telling somebody about themselves real quick oh yeah or a Virgo Vir this could be happening to a Virgo about a Virgo or a Gemini mm -hmm. someone loves to gossip about somebody somebody lies and gossip spies on somebody from the past all the time and it's it's like an, it's like their obsession someone someone's got a bad addiction there's secrecy and also there could be cheating here because look the, the this right here the lover's card right the lover's card is really the devil card but this is the negative form of it this is supposed to be the positive form of it it's not nah, it's toxic whatever this is is toxic somebody did something really really bad in the past and that's coming to light and an Aries is the one who's gonna say it and Libra Aries is your and the, the, whomever did this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn Gemini energy um, whomever did this is really corrupt it's not true they were they were lying the entire time about something or lying to someone or about someone or on someone Libra and I feel like there's an Aries here or maybe even you Libra who's blowing the whole thing the whole the whole lid off the thing because it's not true I don't know take it for what it is I'll be back with Scorpio one second hey Scorpio welcome to your um, you versus them love reading for the rest of June 2023 you could have Scorpio in your Sun moon or right Sun moon rising or Venus placement Scorpio these readings are general so take what resonates to leave the rest roles can be reversed if you need or want to get a personal private reading with me emails below and don't forget to like share comment subscribe all right so show me Scorpio and the person that they are dealing with and or thinking of and love for the rest of June 2023 all right, here we go they want me to use fortune telling cards for you and those are a little bit more hard-hitting okay just FYI okay uh, all right <laughs> current situation we have the love big love offers of love true love here that's the current situation okay now you could be person A or you could be person B person A we got the tower but this is a little bit different than uh, the tarot okay so ace of cups basically here or this is just like true love here and apology uh, and love okay we got Aquarius Scorpio Aries person B um, 
Okay. We got the King of Pentacles with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Fish for Person B. Okay. Recent past, we have the Labyrinth. Recent past is three months or less. And the near future, three months or less, we have the Scythe. Okay. Your energy. Why is this all happening? Ooh, yes, honey. D okay. Okay, so here's the deal. At the bottom of the deck, we have the fox, the letter, which is also the nine of wands, the seven of swords, the, the clock, which is divine timing. And then we have the garden, eight of swords. Okay, so somebody here has lied to you. Okay, or has been lying to you being sneaky and lying and the universe is saying divine timing is this going to be exposed very publicly someone's really up in their head about this getting exposed publicly or someone lied about you very publicly and now they're being exposed that was at the bottom now current situation yes there is love here tell me but somebody here is is trying to attack it it needs to be protected somebody here is trying to infiltrate your relationship Seven of Wands here, there's a need to stand your ground in love, or your person needs to stand their ground in love, or both of you need to protect this love, okay? Now, person A has um, a tower. This is more of like a soft tower here, but this with the Six of Swords talks about there was a tower, it's past, but we're moving on to Karma Waters. Why? Because, listen, you have the key to someone's heart, or you, or they have the key to yours, or both, okay? Now, with person B here, somebody here is focusing on money, long-term stability, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, also Pisces, or there could be someone who, plenty of fish is what I heard, they're on plenty of fish, or someone could also be pregnant. Legacy, there's confusion or options around legacy. You see the three little birds there, there's gossip too about something regarding family, a family secret here, person A, or I'm sorry, person B might have a secret family. Or, or family and money is getting in the way of this connection. But I feel like this person feels very lucky. They are very generous. Maybe they're giving money to family and they're not telling you about it. Okay. Now, in the recent past, okay, with the labyrinth here, in the recent past, you or your person here could have had multiple options here. You see, there's a, there's a man and three women. It could obviously be a woman and three men or whatever your preferences are, sexual orientation or whatever, right? Or sexual identity doesn't matter but somebody here had three options and they were very confused about who and what it is that they want but they're trying to get to the person right here but I, yeah they're trying to get to their empress here they were confused about what they wanted in the recent past I heard anywhere from three months in the past up to nine months in the past they were confused they're not confused anymore they do see you as their empress or emperor whatever now but in the near future with the scythe here something is coming to an end and someone is moving away to cause and it's going to cause them a, a pain somebody here is cutting out a third party whether it's family friends romantic partnership or working too much whatever it is third parties doesn't have to be a person it could be doing too much of something they're cutting it out or you are it is a risk to do so though but they're, risk, they're doing it to, to bring in peace here. Or somebody here is leaving somebody else to come towards you maybe. Or this could be a family member. You guys look like you're good, but you guys need to, someone here is trying to, somebody here could be saying that your person slept with them. If they don't have receipts, they don't have proof did it happen that's number one or you're saying this about somebody else if they if you don't have proof or receipts did it happen okay somebody here is risking their peace to cause chaos in someone's life and or relationship it could be a family member a friend a co-worker it could be money whatever in order to cause chaos to cause an ending yeah there's some form of communication coming in which is from somebody that you have blocked or they have blocked. Someone's being guided to, to keep the faith or keep what they believe in. Yeah, spirit is telling them something's coming or some, you're, some spirit's telling you something's coming. Oh, someone could also be getting married and or is married, married or married. I get more so someone could be getting actually married. 
and somebody wants to destroy that. Or somebody is married and somebody here wants to destroy that because they're jealous and they're a bitter ass hater. Either you are or somebody else is. Okay, Scorpio? And I'm a Scorpio stellium, okay? And a Sagittarius stellium with Aquarius moon, Libra Venus. So my Mars is in Virgo. So, you know, someone's trying to bring the heat to you, Scorpio, or you're bringing the heat to somebody else to, to destroy somebody else's connection or marriage, or there's a family member, a friend, a coworker, or an ex-friend, or something like that, either on your side there, so he wants to destroy this. Because y'all are happy. Happy. For some of you, for only a few select of you, some of you are finding out that you, somebody that you're dealing with is married. Or someone is finding out that you're married. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. All right. That's what I got for you, Scorpio. And I'll be back with Sagittarius. One second. Hey, Sagittarius. Welcome to your you versus them um, love reading for the rest of June. You can have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, Sagittarius, um, roles can be reversed if you need a private reading my emails below don't forget to like share comment subscribe okay all right let's see I'm using fortune telling cards they want me to switch off to that okay so they can be a little bit more hard-hitting all right what's going on please for poor Sagittarius in love the person that they're dealing with or the person that they're thinking of in love for the rest of June 2023 please spirit what's going on for Sagittarius please in love the person that they're dealing with or the person that they're thinking of rest of June all right, here we go. So currently we got the lantern or the beacon here. So something's coming to light. Person A, you can be person A or you could be person B. There is some form of communication or one-sided communication. Something's coming to light. Some there's alarm bells going off. Somebody here needs to pay person A. Okay, person B is the drum. Recent past three months or less, we have the candle or candles. In the near future, we have the grapes. Okay, so currently we have the beacon here. So something is coming to light, which is what, and whatever is coming to light, it is in the form of communication. It could be somebody, be, someone was being gaslit, literally, that, look, the beacon, which is like a gas lantern, and the bellows, someone was being gaslit here. That's the situation here, Sagittarius. Okay, between you and your person. So person A has the alarm bells are going off, or somebody here turns off their notifications on their phone so the other person doesn't. So person A, Sagitt this could be you Sagittarius or this could be cross watcher. Somebody here needs to call their partner while they're at home and um, see if the phone rings out loud. If it doesn't, then they're turning off their notifications for some reason. Why? They're playing a game or they're hiding the fact that they're being very strategic Okay, and they're keeping the cards close to their chest. They're, they could have other options here. Someone's not showing their full hand here. Okay, so person B here has got the drum. So marching to the beat of their own drum here. Medicine. Somebody here has an addiction to um, overly independent behavior. Um, person B does what they want, when they want, how they want to do it. And they don't care what the other person says or thinks about it, period. They don't consider the other person's feelings or how it could affect them in the long run, the other person. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with being independent, but when you are in a connection and or a marriage or whatever it is, it's about interdependence, right? Not just being overly independent for no reason. It's about working together. You have, such as you have your life, right? They have their life, but you also have a life together. This is somebody here who doesn't care. And this one over here, person A, is playing games and hiding something. What? Tell me more, person. Yeah. They're trying to mend something with somebody, but they're playing games. Now, in the recent past, we have the candles. This can talk about having, being in a fork of the road, needing to make a choice. Somebody here made a choice in the recent past, which was, they made a choice about an automobile here, about how to move forward. They want to move forward. Someone made a choice to move forward with something, which is, oh, possibly engagement and or marriage in the recent past three months or less or to remain in a marriage and or a connection, Sagittarius. You could have done this, somebody else could have done this. Now, what the potential future is, meeting your future three months or less, is the grapes here. This talks about reaping what one has sown. Someone's, someone's getting an offer here 
and it's someone else's karma and they're protecting that offer or somebody here is feels like they're dishing out karma or by accepting an offer that they are now protecting someone here is trying to play karma it's a man who's gassing somebody up there's gaslighting here straight up somebody here in the near future i'm not here to judge you maybe you have good reasons to do the sagittarius or maybe they do i don't know somebody here though is gaslighting somebody and making them think that they have other options when maybe they don't be careful with that because there is there's something about reaping what you've sown yeah it's secrets someone's keeping a lot of secrets and they're gaslighting the other person on purpose because they don't want their secrets they don't want their cover blown this almost gives like catfishing energy maybe they don't want to cover their secrets to blow up in their face very publicly comment so somebody here is choosing to gaslight okay well there you go Sagittarius I will be back with Capricorn one second all right uh Capricorn welcome to your you versus them um love reading for the rest of June 2023 you could have Capricorn in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, if you want a personal reading, my email's below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. All right, let's see what the current status of the relationship is, please. What is uh, going on? Show me uh, Capricorn and their person, person that they're dealing with, or person that they're thinking of for the rest of June in love, 2023. All right, so current status is melancholy in reverse okay so somebody here could be you know actually getting over some form of depression maybe okay we have person a you could be person a or you could be person b we have the letter person b has the lord okay immediate recent past three months or less we got the sweetheart okay who is holding a letter and then we have the immediate near future three months or less we have joyfulness okay not bad okay all right so currently what's between the two of you here is getting out of a sad situation or bringing more joy and happiness to a connection okay tell me young woman in reverse okay so somebody here is um you know happy in their at their age whatever age that is no longer upset about it depressed about it whatever someone here is coming out of from some form of depression okay now person a you could be person a or you could be person b somebody here is communicating something very important which is and it's a surprise it's about money or an offer or a gift that's going to be given it's a surprise okay it's someone who's very uh giving a giving person somebody person a wants to give a gift to person b person b with the lord here is being a little bit arrogant about it though size in, in reverse they they knew this was coming some person b knew that this person was going to give them something far as like a like a present love money um you know servitude or trying to help not servitude but like helpfulness or kindness but person b sees person a as a female enemy or person b is a female enemy with really red red hair so i don't know how you fit into that person b feels like they the person b is very self-righteous so whenever person b receives this gift from person a they're they're gonna scoff at it like you know but in the recent past somebody was very kind in their communication very loving but it came crashing down somebody here that's like when it's in the reverse like that it's real bad um somebody experienced a bad bad experience or a bad tower moment in the recent past because somebody wasn't actually their friend i feel like that person's getting over it this could be a same-sex relationship doesn't have to be but because in they're getting over it they're getting over it because in the near future we got joyfulness somebody's very very happy in the near future they feel free prison reverse they feel free but they're also be haughtiness or being very arrogant about it though somebody here needs to someone needs to check their arrogance someone's got an ego issue here and that ego has cost somebody else a lot of pain and they're going to get done the same way in a relationship because this person over here is trying to be kind and giving 
to this person over here. They tried to do it in the past. It didn't work out for them. Now the person who was being very arrogant and was very happy to do so is going to be put in check. Tell me more about the haughtiness. The lover. A lover is very arrogant, defensive even maybe, Capricorn, and they're going to be put in check about this because they think that they're basically hot shit or, or they're God's gift to men or God's gift to women or whatever the, whomever it is for what they've done in the past. They're going to have to experience. Okay? In this relationship or somebody here is like basically... I got the man or I got the woman then and a boo-boo, whatever, and being very arrogant about it or I ruined your relationship, whatever, whatever, you know, very arrogantly, and that's going to cost them. You know, pride goes before the fall, you know. I don't know who I'm reading for, but it could be you doing this or a crosswalker doing this, okay? All right, I'll be back with Aquarius. Hey, Aquarius, welcome to your You versus Them love reading for the rest of June 2023. You could have Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, if you need or want to get a private personal reading, my email is below. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay. Uh, and check out your other placements too, okay? Let's see. What is going on for Aquarius in love um, between Aquarius and their person that they're dealing with and or thinking of for the rest of June, please, Spirit, in love? Okay. Let's go. Okay, current state of the situation is widower. Something's coming to an end. Or somebody's love is dying. Okay, person A, we got service. I don't like this. Person B has got merchant. Okay. Immediate recent past, three months or less, we got faithfulness. And the immediate near future, three months or less, we got the wife. Someone could actually be a widower, and that's getting in the way of a connection. Uh, if you're dealing with Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Gemini, go watch their go go watch Gemini's, okay? Or if you got Gemini in your chart, because this kind of came up for Gemini. It's either the end of a marriage, or someone is actually a widower. Like it could have been through divorce or through someone passing in the past. Okay, why is that here? Yeah, misfortune. Somebody here can't let go of what happened in the past. Either a divorce happened and a fall from grace happened through a divorce. Or they're using it or, or someone actually passed away. It was a very unfortunate event. Okay. Somebody here um, is using it to manipulate the other person, person A, into servitude up to them. Somebody is trying to manipulate somebody with, threaten somebody with divorce or threaten somebody or, or throw up divorce in someone's face from a past person. Like somebody here is trying to compare their current husband or wife or partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, fiance, whomever, to their past person that they lost either through divorce or passing away. And in person A is service. Why? Reunion. Somebody here is trying to bring this back together. Person A is trying to bring this back together. They want to be with this person. Okay? Person A wants to be with person B. Person B, though, however, is a merchant. They're a salesman, saleswoman. They are very much, very manipulative. Tell me more. Yeah, they're keeping secrets. They're manipulating a situation in secret. Also, they could be doing a lot of shopping in secret. They're you okay? I'm not okay. I'm not here to judge anybody's mental health. I'm not a doctor or a mental health professional. Professional. Somebody here is using religion and their depression about who they lost either through divorce or someone passing away in the past to manipulate person A to doing whatever they want. Now, in the recent past, there was a lot of faithfulness. There was loyalty and fortune and, and happiness and, and love here, abundance and communication, right? What happened? 
and someone was very giving to the other person. So both people were very giving, got service and, ser and, and service here. Both were very, very giving to one another. But because of part, this right here, someone deciding to uh, compare their current spouse, husband, wife, partner, whatever, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, whatever, to the person that they were either previously married to and or to a person that passed away, it's causing problems. And they're doing it in secret. They're doing it or using religion to do it as well and, and, and using some form of anxiety or depression that they may or may not have. I, I can't diagnose anybody to manipulate person, person A. The wife here, I don't like this. I don't like this reading. The wife is the one who's manipulating the situation, I'm sorry. And they're causing, see what that says, despair. They could be causing their husband, their spouse, whomever, whatever your preferences are, to want to think about harm, okay? Self-harm. I don't like this. I don't like it. Um... Now, because I have the widower here and misfortune, and that's a masculine widower, could be feminine though, what I got next is the death card here for the near future. Somebody here is torturing, psychologically mind screwing their partner and could drive them to do something really bad to themselves or to their partner. Or somebody here, a wife could be doing this to a husband, whatever your purposes are. Or a husband could be doing this to a wife and this is going to be the potential outcome. So somebody here is really, I got the wife, despair, and then the death card here. Something needs to change or there is potential for that. If this is your reading, go watch Gemini, please. Also, whether you have Gemini in your chart or dealing with one, because that's, I feel like that's going to be important for this reading right here. Um, also, I'm going to leave some resources in the description box below, right, if I, if I have enough space, for, um, you know, free resources for um, mental health stuff, okay? Nobody, ain't nobody worth, ain't nobody worth your life, okay? period okay also too if somebody's threatening this you need to get them help immediately whether they're manipulating it or not it doesn't matter take them rather be safe than sorry take them to the hospital immediately okay tell me more someone keeps talking about this wanting to unalive themselves possibly again resources below so they can get out of a marriage just get out divorce if you're married someone talks to their doctor about this a lot doctor could uh, admit somebody um, the doctor is telling this person this wife or this husband I don't know who this is to go get a divorce Because somebody's lying, either they're lying to their doctor or an attorney, or they're talking to the doctor because they found out that the person is cheating. This is the reason why I don't promote uh, third parties or glorify third parties on my channel. This is one of one of the many reasons. Let me tell you why. One, um, it happens more frequently than people like to admit. Nevertheless, we don't realize or we don't sometimes we don't care. The consequence, and I've been, before, let me just say this, I'm not trying to preach or anything, but I've been on both sides of that coin. I've been the betrayed and the betrayer. So I know what it's like on both sides, okay, of the coin. Both sides are horrible, okay? Nobody is happy. Nobody ever gets what they want from the situation. It doesn't help anything. Even if it's out of revenge, it doesn't help anything. Nobody's happy, and it literally is like, um, hurting somebody's spirit when you cheat on somebody who really loves you and trusts you 
it's like hurting their spirit or when somebody does that to you it's like hurting your spirit but i will tell you this ain't nobody worth your life though and people do really dumb things and really dangerous things when they've been betrayed potentially okay or or for a third party because they want out of a marriage but they don't want to lose money you hear about it all the time on the news right i don't really watch a lot of news but I mean, there, there's all kinds of scenarios okay this ain't worth it period show me the thief card damn thoughts somebody here wants out of a connection so bad that they're willing to because they're because they're cheating but they don't want to lose money in a divorce uh i don't know someone needs to go to, either they're threatening to harm themselves potentially or somebody else and they seriously need to go to the hospital whomever this is but there's a doctor here that knows the truth about that someone is cheating mm -hmm. And they keep thinking about it, what to do to help their client, their patient, whatever. Get out of the scenario without harm. Harm to themselves or harm to others. Whether it's of the wife or the husband or the masculine or the feminine. It doesn't matter. Whatever the fuck this is, it's not good. Um, yeah. So, go talk to an attorney, a doctor, a therapist, psychologist, whatever. But please get help, okay? Whomever this is for. I'm not judging you. Please free resources below okay because also somebody too is really tired of somebody uh threatening this and or if someone is threatening this they need to go to the hospital immediately they need to go to the hospital um don't play with that one person is faithful the other person is not Somebody is also using a tragedy from the past, either a divorce or someone else passing away from the past to manipulate the other person. Period. All right, I gotta move on from this. Okay, <laughs> this is very serious. Okay, um, let me just get a happy card. Let me get a, let me get one happy. Um, if it's what what does Aquarius and or cross watcher need to surrender? Surrender your addiction. Someone could be seriously either have a sex addiction, drug or alcohol addiction. I'll also leave free or addicted to problematic people or situations i will leave free resources down below please use them it says whether you're addicted to substances food people sex or overworking take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives for real okay oh lord okay <laughs> aquarius moving on i'll be back with pisces one second Hi Pisces, welcome to your you versus them love reading for the rest of June 2023. You could have um, Pisces in your sun, moon, or rising. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, if you need or want to get a private personal reading with me, uh, emails below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, Spirit, please show me what's going on for Pisces and their person for the rest of June in love. Person that they're dealing with or the person on their mind. Please, Spirit, please show me Pisces and or their person. And show me Pisces and their person, the person that they're thinking of, or person that they're dealing with in love, please. Rest of June 2023. Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go. Okay, so Pisces, currently we got change. So there's movement here. Someone could be moving out of a house. Or they want to move. Maybe all moving together. Person A, though, is gift. They're giving a gift to cause change here. Person B is a liar, a cheat, and a thief. recent past we got occupation in the near future we got unexpected income okay so with the change here somebody here is lying about what they're doing for work or somebody here is having an affair at work they have received gifts show me the change courthouse that's the change somebody here could be getting a divorce if they're married and having to move out of a family home or a residence mm -hmm. because the courts are deeming it to happen Person A, though, is either giving a gift or receiving a gift. So what's the gift about? A sudden wealth through a divorce. Why? Because person B is lying, stealing, cheating. Okay? Show me the thief. Adjudication. Somebody, <laughs> somebody here is getting 
just destroyed in the court system because they were having an affair. Person B is having an affair, and that's why the divorce is happening. Someone could also lied about a child in court. Yep, lovers, they have a love child. So person B has a love child, and person A knows about it, and they're getting all the money through a divorce, possibly. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an attorney. This is not legal counsel, but I had got to say what the cards are. Okay, I have to, okay, so person B here is, has cheated. That's why the divorce is happening. And they also have a secret love child. Mm -hmm. Or someone lied about who the father is of a child. So, okay, somebody here could have gotten pregnant by somebody at the workplace. In the recent past, we got occupation. Somebody was, what's that house? Somebody here works in real estate, Pisces. And some, the husband here or the masculine is very concerned about what's going on at work because they know that there's lying. Three months or less, they're okay, they're correct me, three weeks or less um, in the recent past. So anywhere from three weeks to three months in the recent past, somebody here who works in real estate or real estate law, because I got a lot of law here, Some there's a masculine here who's very concerned that their person is having an affair with somebody at the workplace and looks like they are. <sighs> One more card, yep. Courtship, somebody is dating somebody or having an affair with somebody at the workplace, Pisces and they work in real estate or real estate law. In the near future, we got unexpected income though coming in. Okay, what is that about? To a mature man. Okay, so if you're the masculine here, you're, if you're the masculine, you're, your person, male or female, whatever your preferences are, okay, uh, is gonna have to pay you alimony if there's a divorce because they had an affair with somebody at the workplace. Mm -hmm. You'll meet somebody better though. This could even be an attorney, a mature man. Yeah, this privileged lady is going to go from privileged to having to work their ass, toil and labor with nothing to show for. Someone is getting served papers at the workplace too because of their infidelity. Yeah. It's the end of the road here. It's the end of, end of the connection here. It looks like the main male though Remain faithful, it looks like. Looks like, I'm sorry, Pisces, looks like the feminine who did this, Pisces. It happens, no judgment, it happens. Somebody here, a masculine, a main male, who could be the husband here, is taking their, their wife or soon-to-be ex-wife or partner or whatever to the cleaners because of infidelity. I mean, Pisces, I mean, it happens. So if you, you know, I don't know. I don't know who, I don't know which one you are, but it looks like there's a feminine energy that's a liar. And there's a masculine energy who's very concerned that their spouse is doing this and looks like they are. There could have been a love child here too or pregnancy involved, possibly. Someone could also lie, have lied about who the dad is, potentially. Someone's got a history of cheating, is what I feel, all right? Um, and if they do, they're doing it again. Whomever I'm reading for. All right, so that's what I got. I'll be back with love tea messages for each sign. So give me one second. All right, so this will be the T for, I'm gonna go through Aries to Pisces, okay? Get one card each, all right, Spirit. Please show me what is the T that each zodiac sign needs to know about from Aries to Pisces in that order? Please show me the love tea for each zodiac sign that I need to know from Aries to Pisces in that order. All right, here we go. All right, Aries, your love tea is lunch breaks, work affairs. Somebody here, you or your person, somebody here is, while they're on lunch breaks, they're hooking up with somebody through at the workplace. Taurus, your love tea is sending you love. Somebody's in love with you or they want to tell you this or you want to tell somebody that, okay? Um... There's a lot of flirting. Um, Gemini, you got it, in it to score. So Gemini, you're dealing with somebody who's in it to score with you, okay? Or you're in it to score with somebody. 
um, Cancer, your love tea is dirty and messy. So either you're in a situation that's very messy and dirty. You're in a, you're, you or your person has done got caught up in something. Or you yourself are caught up in a, a very dirty laundry and very messy laundry. That could be coming out about you or your person or both. Whew, Leo, you got both acting like babies or both acting like brats. So you and your person are acting like brats here, um, Leo. Um, Virgo, you got... Um, special to me. Someone feels like you're very, very special to them, or you feel like someone is special to you. Um, Libra, you got trickster. Somebody here has got a card up their sleeve. Someone's cheating on you, or lying to you, or you are doing this to them. Someone, someone's tricking you. Okay. Um, Scorpio, you got retreat. I feel like you need a vacation. You and your partner need to go on a vacation here. Straight up, y'all need to get away from everybody. Um, Sagittarius, you got um cheating cheating accused somebody here is accusing you of cheating or you're accusing someone else of cheating if you don't have evidence of it make sure make sure you get evidence if your intuition is telling you Sagittarius that someone's cheating on you before you confront somebody make sure you have evidence or cross watcher okay um Capricorn you got chosen so you could be getting engaged very soon somebody wants to marry you or somebody is choosing to marry someone okay um was like Capricorn Aquarius you got still hope there's still hope here there's a hope and there's a prayer here but whatever you believe in there's still hope okay don't give up Aquarius don't give up and ain't nobody worth anything you let your life whatever there's still hope okay um for uh -huh. you and whatever the situation is okay uh, Pisces you got Venmo activities so Pisces somebody here is paying somebody through Venmo for something you, okay, Pisces, if you want to know the truth about a situation, somebody here is getting paid money through Venmo. And, yeah, they're very they're very different people. The T here is that someone is very opposites attract. Somebody here is paying somebody for some type of favors, if you feel what I'm saying, through Venmo. A lot of gossip here. Someone's gossiping about this. Tell me more for Pisces. Yep, gossip and lies. Wish granted. Somebody, be careful what you wish for here, Pisces, or cross watcher. Somebody here is catching. Somebody's lying about how much they're paying somebody. They're not actually getting paid for something, or they are getting paid and they're lying about where the money's coming from. Yeah, gossip and amazing chemistry. They gossip about you, Pisces. That your person gossips about you with a third party over lunch. They are always having lunch together, and that your person is lying to you. Okay. All right, Pisces. All right, I'll be back with messages from your person. One second. All right, let's see what your person uh, wants to say to you but doesn't or needs to say to you but hasn't yet, okay? Show me show me the messages for each sign um, from Aries to Pisces. Please, what the person wants to say to them but hasn't or wants uh, but won't or what they want to say to them but hasn't yet. Okay. So, Aries, your person would say, I've been struggling lately. Taurus, your person would say, at that moment, I just didn't care. Um, Gemini, your person would say, I focus on you instead of my grief. Um, Cancer, your person would say, I want to tell you so many things. Or maybe you've got something you need to say to somebody. Um, Leo, your person would say, I can see you standing there. I can still see you standing there. Okay, Virgo, your person would say, I was careless with you. Libra, your person would say, next time I will listen to my intuition. Um, Scorpio, your person would say, I don't know how to let you go. Sagittarius, your person would say, you're so easy to see through. Um, Capricorn, your person would say, I'm waiting for an apology. Okay. Um, Aquarius, your person would say, I'm sorry. Pisces, your person would say, sometimes I hear your voice in my head. One more for Pisces. I hope I will see you again sometime. Okay. I don't know who that's from. All right. I'll be back with angel answers. So make sure you have a question in your mind. Okay. Okay. All right. Spirit, please give me the answers to the questions that each Zodiac has that they're holding in their mind in that order from Aries to Pisces. Please, Spirit, the answer to their questions, Spirit and angels to... Each zodiac signs question that they're holding in their mind and from Aries to Pisces in that order. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, here we go. And angels. 
thank you. All right, so uh, Aries, the answer is helpful people. Taurus, the answer is you're ready. Gemini, the answer is abundance. Okay. Um, I also heard gratitude for Gemini. Okay. Cancer, your answer is within the next few months. Leo, the answer to your question is no need to worry. Virgo, the answer to your question is recovery. Libra, the answer to your question is the situation will improve. Um, Scorpio, the answer to your question is yes. Big yes, exclamation point. Um, Sagittarius, the answer to your question is just yes. Um, Capricorn, yours is there's something better. Aquarius, your answer is trust the divine and your angels and guides, okay? Um, Pisces, your answer is take action. What is that action for Pisces? You need to take action in the divine timing or perfect timing, which is what? To let go, okay? Well, you're going to catch somebody in something in the perfect divine timing, and then that's when you let go. All right, I'll be back with zodiac signs and guidance, okay? One second. All right, zodiac signs. So it could be any sign, but let's just take a look. All right, let's see. Aries, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, a Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Leo, Libra, Virgo, also Libra. Okay, what's going on? Libra is getting around. Okay. Okay. Uh, Libra, <laughs> Gemini, um, Scorpio, also Libra. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Sagittarius, yourself or another Sagittarius, Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Pisces, okay, you got two, Aquarius and Scorpio, Aquarius and Scorpio for Pisces, okay? All right, I'll be back with guidance, and then we're done. One second. All right, let's see. Guidance, please, for each zodiac sign from Aries to Pisces in that order. Please, spirit, guidance, please. Any potential guidance, which you're not required to take, but this we're going to get them. We're going to pull them anyways. All right, here we go. Guidance for each sign in that order. Please, spirit, and thank you. All right, Aries, your guidance is hold your vision. Taurus, yours is your dreams need a practical plan. Um, Gemini, yours is, your commitment is being tested. Cancer, be bold and make the first move. Leo, communication is key. Virgo, emotions are running high. Libra, don't let pride get in your way. Um, Scorpio, conclusions are within reach. Sagittarius, show the world the real you. Um, Capricorn, look at the bigger picture. Um, Aquarius says, a personal issue reaches resolution. Uh, Pisces, believe in the impossible. All right, that's what I got. That has been your you versus them, um, all, all signs you versus them reading, love reading for the rest of June 2023. I love you so much, and I will talk to you later. Until next time. Oh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. My email is below if you want to get a personal reading. And I love you. Until next time. Bye.